Curtis Blades versus Tom Aspinall for the main event in UFC London doesn't get better than this. But before we get into it guys, this video is sponsored by Full Reptile Collective, brought to you by Dan Hardy. Head over to their website at fullreptile.co.uk where you can find anything from training gear, t-shirts, hoodies, all the way to coffee. For an exclusive 10% off, use Dan Said So at checkout. Make sure to also check out their YouTube channel for some of the best MMA content out there, bar my own. Let's get back to the video. All right, guys, we're going to start with Curtis Blades because Curtis Blades is a real danger in this heavyweight division. He is a top dog, only losing to Francis Ngannou and Derek Lewis, both insane knockout punches. Not the people with the biggest skill set, but the people that hit so damn hard, it's just impossible to not get hit at some point in the fight by them. Finish Curtis Blades. You know, the Derek Lewis one, he ran in for a takedown, straight telegraphed uppercut by, beautiful by Derek Lewis, and he loved celebrating that one because he hates Curtis Blades. The first one was obviously due to a bit of injuries and doctor stoppage from Francis Ngannou. The second one, again, arguable stoppage, but he, he you know, I'm, I don't complain about that one. Other than that, guys, Curtis Blades runs through everyone. You know, the, the sitting in guard, elbowing Alistair over him to bits, the absolute savage knockout over Dalkus last time out, beating Jarzinho Rosenstroik in the stand-up as well as mixing it up with the takedowns. He is running through the heavyweight division as well, controlling them with his grappling. His, his wrestling is phenomenal. Absolutely terrifying to people. His hands have got a lot better and he showed that. You know, I thought that was Dalkus' best attempt to even get towards Curtis Blade, especially with the movement a lot faster. Slips the punch, rock him with the right hand, and just didn't happen at all. Curtis Blades was really good at just stepping out of range and making him reset every time. And then when he, he when he wanted to dictate the pace, he stepped forward and landed that beautiful shot. And you know, Curtis Blades has evolved incredibly, and he's got a real chip on his shoulder to get back to a title, you know, eliminator or a title shot. So let's talk about Tom Aspinall, guys, because. I'm watching him since his Cage Warriors days. It's hard for me not to talk about him with a smile on my face. Absolute monster. I called that he's going to run through Volkov. I think it's a tough fight. I talked to it with, about it with Dan Hardy on the channel. If you haven't seen that, guys, go check it out. It was a good time for me. Wonderful, wonderful performance by Tom Raspinall. Just didn't even really take a shot. Just level change, got into the ground, got into side control, arm locked him. Done. Get up. Another first round. Lovely. Another finish. That's uh, five finishes. This will be his sixth fight in two years, uh, pretty much to the deadline when he opened his account against Jake Collier, knee to the fat belly, bang, bang, one, two, finish Jake Collier. Spivak's on his list, Andre Lovsky's on his list, Alan Badeau. So there's a few fighters there going, okay, scrap of heavyweight. But then he fought Arlovsky and you're like, okay, at least it's a name. And then he beats Alexander Volkov, who is a genuine top 10 beast. Next. Easy peasy, he's not even getting touched in these fights, it's unbelievable. This is a proper test for him. He called out Taito Avasa in his last fight out. I love that fight as well, but I think Tom would run through Taito Avasa because he'd, he'd just grapple him. Taito's got a hole in his game and it's the grappling. Tom Aspinall is a ridiculously good Commonwealth wrestler, like standard wrestler. Trains all the time at Team Calvin with him because Mike Grundy's the coach there. Um, his wrestling is unbelievable. Tom Aspinall has legitimate grappling. Dad, is a, dad teaches the jiu-jitsu system down there at Team Calbon. He is a very high level Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. Don't get that a lot of heavyweight, which is brilliant to see. Then you get to his striking. He is a fully well-rounded, incredibly fast heavyweight. He's almost, I compare him a lot to Cyril Garn, but with jiu-jitsu. And that's, to me, what he is. I think he's, I think he's arguably heavier handed than Cyril Gaon. I think he's probably around the same speed. They have very similar movement where they dash in and out and completely evade any form of conflict. They just get out of range again. They find that distance to not engage if it's not 100% gonna work for them. Curtis Blaze is gonna run at his legs, 100% run at his legs, try and get him to the floor and then see what happens. Tom Aspinall had an excellent game off his back. People haven't seen it in the UFC because there's not been a need to. I don't know if there will be a need to this one. I think there's a clear striking difference with Tom and Curtis. I think Tom is far superior. He's far faster. He's got sharper hands. He works fundamentals brilliantly. He's not creative and dynamic where he's going to do switch kicks and turning side kicks and stuff. He knows what to do. He's the ex sparring partner of Tyson Fury. He has brilliant boxing. I think if he stays on the feet for, you know, first round, second round, doesn't matter. Tom's going to catch him. He's going to get him. Remember, this main event, five rounds again, guys. Tom's not been past the second, and that was a quick one as well. Just hit the second round, run at Olovsky, grab his neck, done. Border that second round stuff. 
Tom needs to have octagon time there if he's going to challenge for a title. Because if he runs through Curtis Blades here, I guarantee he'll get a title shot. I guarantee it. He will get that title shot. Because who the hell else is there? Are you going to fight another guy that's around number five? Is he going to fight Derek Lewis, a title of us? Like, he didn't want to rush this in the UFC. And he keeps steamrolling people. Curtis Blades isn't the boogeyman. But he's a very high level. And he's a gatekeeper of that top five. He is that top five. You get past Curtis Blades, that's only Derek Lewis and Ungarnu. That's the only people. You want to join that nice little list? I think he's going to knock him out. So I'm going Tom Aspinall by knockout, guys. Or I'm going to back him. I'm an Englishman. He's our best hope at the next champion, him and Leon Edwards. But, man, I love him to bits. Let us know, guys, in the comments below if you think Curtis Blades is going to outgrapple him. Do you think he can knock Tom out? Do you think he can do it the same way Dalkus did? Speeds with Dalkus, speeds up with Aspinall. Can he catch him with the right hand? Or is he going to just get absolutely ran through like Tom's doing with everyone else? Let us know in the comments below, guys. Like the video, have enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Enjoy UFC London. Cheers all.